Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we're on the island of Lulu. As you can see by the island flag, this island is inspired by the French Riviera. That is the southeast of France, I have learned quite literally today. This island is by Laney Crossing on Instagram. It is phenomenal, by the way, and just to like give you a sense of the talent that we're experiencing today, um, Laney made all of these codes herself. So the, all of the codes that you see on the island are going to be one custom design code because she made them all. That's absolutely wild to me, chat. I'm, I'm messed up about it. Let's look at the map. So here is the island of Lulu. Some pretty neat terraforming I think we're going to get to experience soon. Here we have Marjoline, Vicky, and Ro. Then we've got Pashmina, Marshall, Bones, Salil, Salil, I'm not sure how to pronounce her, I'm not gonna lie. Bam, Pecan, Pecan, why did I say it like that? Fang, Kiki, my queen, we love an island that has the best villager in the game. Shuri and Shep, there is the dream address as well. If you'd like to tour along with me, which I always recommend. I'm very excited to get into this island. Uh, the entrance here is a port because all of the little towns in the French Riviera have small or large ports, or so I hear. So we've got a very fitting entrance to the island, very realistic. I am obsessed with the building codes we see here. They're so cute. I love how they color coordinate with the medieval building sides. It just feels like such a nice pop of color around here. Love the little park fountain as well. I'm already just obsessed with the, I don't know, it's like French small town vibes we're getting. I've never been to the French Riviera myself, so if you have been there and this is really speaking to you, let me know because I'd love to hear. I'm assuming it is. This is super cute. We've got La Tarte Bakery and the little L Lou signs. This is for Lulu Island for sure. These are adorable. I love the little setup here, the display cases and all of the little pastries available. Very cute little lounge area too here, place to sit after you buy your baked good. Very cute. And then we do have beach access as well. Look at this little shop. It's like a little ice cream place. How adorable. This deck design looks really good on the beach too. I love the mix of tiles, like these little mosaic tiles as well. It just looks so nice, very welcoming. Oh, and I love this little rope. What is this called? I can never remember the name of it. The little rope partition though is very cute. Heading forward on the beach. I don't know how I got here, but I'm loving it. Oh, we have Able Sisters on the beach on this island, which is kind of neat. I'm not going to lie. So we have them selling some very nice French clothing, of course. Love the pattern on whatever this is, this scarf, jacket, etc. Very cute. Ooh. I like the way that stone fence is used too to block off this part of the beach. This is just adorable. Let's go and explore more on land here. Oh, it's like a little marketplace here. We've got some painting going on, which is really neat. Always love to see it. And a little plant shop, it would appear here. This next stall seems to be maybe like an antiques stall, perhaps. We've got a record here. So I'm assuming this is a little music shop, a little music stall some clothes, some toys even. I love this little carnival item used here. I can't remember what these are called either. POV, Lex Play, for getting every item name in the game every time she starts a video, could be me. We've also got a little fresh produce stall. Look at the little pharmacy design. I'm crying, this is so good. And again, I'm just, I really appreciate the colors working their way in as well. We've got little scooters around. People here are mobile. And we've got a little cheese and baked goods. Mmm. Every time I tour an island, I swear I'm hungry. And we've got this little setup here. Everything is just so perfectly put together. I also love this seating area. The barrel being used as a little table is adorable. That is so funny. And then we've got little Brewster cup here. Fun fact, I actually bought this Brewster cup from the Nintendo store. So I this I actually live here on the island is what I'm what I'm seeing. This is just so neat. Also love the openings here. I love this castle gate being used as an opening back to this part of the island. Oh, Marshall enjoying some beach time. Hello. 
the little rock placed with the beach rocks is so funny. It's blending in. Let's head up this incline to check out this part of the island. How neat. We've got a little lookout area, drinking fountain. Love this color for the medieval building sides. I have got to use these more often because they are making this island absolutely phenomenal. So stunning. All the little buildings being made are so, uh, so believable. You know what I mean? Like this is so realistic walking through here, having these little buildings up. I'm also loving the plant life being brought into the city too, though. It is not by any means industrial. It's very natural, very beautiful designs. It's so cute. All the little medieval buildings though. Stop. I love. Oh, we have our first villager house here as well. All of the villager houses are decorated. We can't go in this one because it belongs to a villager who is out on the town at the moment. But just so you know, if you visit, you can go in and check out the villager homes. They have been edited. This is stunning. Come and listen to some street music, some very elegant street music while you enjoy the view. Absolutely gorgeous terraforming. And we've got even a little sunken waterfall moment here thanks to the terraforming of this cliff. Again, just very natural and beautiful. We'll have to go and check out that part of the beach as well because I kind of walked through it. Oh, we've got the Brewster gyroid. Some rare finds on this island, for real. Up here, we've got this stunning design. I like how all of the custom designs kind of meld together as well. They all look very stunning together. We've got a nice little restful beach here, just chilling out. I love the flamingo float. And then a natural peninsula, which I can appreciate here in a town island. I love that you can kind of sense that this is a port town as you go around. Like, the beaches feel very welcoming and lived in, lived on, I guess. This is such a cute little rest area. One of your friends can play the ukulele. You can enjoy your drink. It's perfect. And also the little outdoor kitchen on the rocks. This is adorable. There's also a pathway back here. Oh, how neat. You can go and enjoy the spot on the beach rocks as well. Oh my goodness, and it connects all the way back over here to this part of the islands. So we've got a little lighthouse on this beach rock. I'm a sucker for decorated beach rocks, and this one is stunning. Love the layering of the items here, the lighthouse, and then the pine tree, and then these bushes and the hardwood tree. This just looks so nice. Absolutely love the vibes. We've got some more port vibes going on. There's some fishing going on over here. Love this little bench as well. You can just sit, wait on your ferry, you know. Seems like you can continue this way as well. Absolutely wild to see like a fully traversable back of the island. I don't wanna get too far ahead of ourselves because there's a lot to see here. So let me head back this way. I think I can go back even further actually. Okay, I've headed back to the peninsula to explore this part of the town. Look how cute the little Vespa here. We've got a double incline moment, which of course I always appreciate as well. And then look at this gazebo. This is the one with the stunning view from the street music area. How cute. And we've got these little tiny libraries acting as I'm assuming mailboxes. They look freaking cute. The tiny library is one of the best items I think that Nintendo added to New Horizons. Cutely enough, we have a little seating area here and they've trapped an ant. Very well done. Let's go in and see this villager's house. Ah, oh, this is Fang and he has such a classy interior. He has a little tart poster on the wall, which is funny. He's a baked goods kind of guy. Or maybe he owns the tart bakery, you know? It's his pride and joy. Look at these custom designs, even on the interior, like the wall, the windows. This is, uh, wow. I mean, this island has blown my mind already, but it's just incredible. We've got a nice classy little kitchen here. I love this. And again, just like the town itself, there is still some nature flowing in here. It feels very welcoming and cozy. And we do find ourselves in a bit of a neighborhood here. So let's check out this one as well. Absolutely love this seating area. The peach chairs are so underrated and they fit this island's vibe so well. They match this house exterior perfectly. This is so cute. Let's see who this villager is. Oh, this is Pecan, little cutie. She's got a very bright interior. I love the florals. I feel like it definitely fits her vibe as a villager. 
especially with her home here in the French Riviera. I also like that the chairs are facing each other here. I don't know what it is about that. It's the small details that really get me in villager interiors. You don't have a lot of space to work with, but it's so cool to see how different people handle that space. And again, I'm just so impressed by the designs that the island creator made herself. It's so neat. Also, of course, Pecan would have this little antique bureau with the letter. She has those vibes. This is so precious. Okay, I'd also like to see the resident home here. So let's go and check that out before we move along. This resident has their own private pool, which is so nice. This feels very ritzy. This feels like a luxury home vibe, but this is so neat. And they've got a very interesting set of plant life here. And they've got their own private beachfront patio. I mean, come on. This is the dream. I think maybe I should move to the French Riviera. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is stunning. Love the little travel stuff here. It feels like, um, I guess this is a little um, bed and breakfast, maybe an inn or a hotel. This looks so nice. The computer, the little bell so you can get them. That is so funny. I don't know that I've ever seen the bell used like this. I also accidentally turned off the chandelier. That's my bad. Okay, there we go. Anyway, this is a stunning entryway. It just feels very, like, country vibe. Like, I don't know how to how to explain it. The vibes are immaculate. I also love that there's, like, vineyard vibes going on back here. Just a little wine bar. How adorable. Let's head into these rooms. Oh, we've got a little suite happening here. It has been very expertly changed up into separate rooms so we have the toilet here and then also a little area to shower everything you need in your little hotel room they've also got fresh flowers and pastries available for the visitor and this is stunning i would be absolutely thrilled to walk into my hotel room and this is what it looks like are you kidding immaculate oh and here's the kitchen area this is where the continental breakfast would be prepared of course is that a thing also in france i have no idea extremely american vibes over here i'm so sorry this is super cute though oh i love this wardrobe being used here why do i feel like this is my first time seeing this wardrobe because i've never used it in this color and it looks phenomenal so good yeah, this is so cute, and I love the way the island creator uses the pillars in the rooms to kind of separate things out. It just feels so, I don't know, realistic to real buildings. It makes the room have so much more depth and dimension. Aw, oh, we've got the rooms sort of mirroring each other. So the first room was on the right side of the house, and this one is on the left. Slightly different. They do have their own unique personalities as rooms, but again, separated off into some different rooms. So we have the toilet and then a little shower area for this one. This looks so pretty. I'm also soaking my dress, which is not what we what we meant to do here. This looks great, I love. Oh, and then we've got another room upstairs. This is bigger for sure. Could perhaps be where the owner of the building lives. Like if it's a bed and breakfast, the person who runs it perhaps lives up here or it's just a bigger room available for guests. I'd guess the first option. It looks super cute. They've got their own little bed area and then, of course, a little bathroom. The bathroom is so elegant. I'm crying. Let me get a better look at it for you. Look at it. It's so cute. I love all of the partition walls, kind of making it feel like a whole house in here. The space is just used so precisely, so carefully. I fear, chat, that we are in the presence of a master interior designer. I don't know. Lastly, for this house, we do have a little dining area. This is where they serve all that yummy food they cook up in the kitchen. This is goals. I'm not gonna lie. All these pastries and stuff, like sign me up. I am a pastry girly. There's also a little microwave and some silverware here. Oh, and a little laundry spot. If you need to do your laundry, you can do it down here. Everything here is so thoughtful. Love this partition wall with these lights. I mean, hello, it literally made a hallway. I don't, I am not bright enough, I fear, in Animal Crossing to make rooms that are this believable and realistic. This is just blowing my mind. 
I mean, I'm uh, I'm shaken. This has been amazing. All right, what a beautiful first residence home to look at. That was stunning. Making our way back through this neighborhood, we'll head down this time. Again, loving how lush it feels, all the nature around here. This is just to the left, by the way, of the little street music area. Did we already see this house specifically? We did, and then I didn't even notice that there was a house behind it that we could also check out. So here is another little yard area. Love how it's how it's separated off with the hedges. This villager is also not home, unfortunately. I'm sure we'd be amazed by the decor in that house as well. Look at these little buildings again. I'm crying, they're like little shops out and about. This is so perfect, I don't know. And then, oh, we have a little private area back here. I don't know, I feel like this is a good proposal spot. Brilliant views. I'm just gonna follow this resident rep. Sorry, we're gonna actually push this this resident rep. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so I feel like such a jerk right now. As apology, let's see what this guy has to say. Okay. He is talking to us in French, hello, as well. Okay, and now we are right behind resident services. I did not realize that is where we were. Here is the resident services area though. While you're here, you can stop and grab the custom design codes if you like any of them, which is super convenient. This area is also really cute. It definitely does feel like a central plaza to this town. You've got a little place to sit. Imagine when like KK's here, I feel like he would fit the vibes just perfectly. And up here, we've got a little building area too. How cute. Is this, have we been here already? I don't think so. Oh, this is behind the market. Okay, neat. So there's just a little walkthrough area up here. Again, just really believable buildings and stuff. We have ventured that way. Me, when I get lost, POV, you're watching Lex play tour, the first island she's ever seen in Animal Crossing. But yeah, heading this way from the front of Residence services, you can get to the airport pretty easily. It's just right down here. So it's super easy to find. I also appreciate the functionality of this island. You can grab some money, some bells right here. There's a little ABD, very fitting when you're by the marketplace, the bakery. Again, I just feel like the island creator put so much thought into how things are placed here. We've got a very restful little area on the beach. This feels like, you know, an empty beach. Someone just came out to hang out today and read a book and that's so nice. They're using the palm tree as shade. Also, I don't know if this was intentional, but it's the perfect time of day that the palm tree cast shade over this towel. Are you kidding? I'm telling you, we are in the presence of an Animal Crossing mastermind. I feel lucky to be here. Okay, we have the little Nook's Cranny shop here. It's got an outdoor section as well. You can pick up some quick food stuffs and Look at the trash. That is so funny. They've got the little cardboard boxes over here too. Believable, again. Little ice cream area too. How adorable. And you can pick up your pool slash beach essentials too. It is not just a food. This is a supermarket. Seems like they also serve some of the bakery items. So we love to see it. Supporting local business. You know, there's also a whoopee cushion up here. Okay some vending machines. You can get anything you need here for real. This is so neat. I love this pergola walkthrough and we've got a little club on the beach. How cute. Oh, what the heck? How have I never done that before? Look at it. It throws little streamers. Are you kidding? And we've got some confetti happening here. I'm crying. How lit. How uh, immaculate. And this is right on the beach, so you can go down and enjoy some fine dining, it would appear. Dang. This is like a nice restaurant. We've got a little busboy station too, which is so cute. Very nice dining area. And then some areas to relax as well. I love the vibes here, the like layering of the different types of pool beds slash beach beds. This is all part of Club Blue, apparently. And then a very nice little reading area on the beach. This has got to be my favorite spot. This has got to be my favorite spot. A very simple pier design. You can come up here, hang out with Cap'n on the island. And then walking forward here. Oh, there's something on land. Two little showers. Stop freaking precious. I love the director's chairs here too. They're so beachy. Something about them is so good. And it's like great that you can custom customize them with different colors and stuff. It just looks so nice. Oh, we've got a little bike and a scooter here. 
this island does feel so lived in, you know, like as we go around, I can definitely picture like the villagers hanging out around here. This is another villager home. Unfortunately, the villager is out and about, just like we saw a little bit earlier. But a very stunning little neighborhood here. This villager is home and they've got a very natural little yard here, very casual. Let's go and see their interior. And it's Kiki with her little seaside home. Her house feels much more casual to me, just a very uh, simple girly. She's hanging out. She likes her, her simple little house, her simple yard. She deserves this beach access. She's right next to the ocean. She is so precious. She's also a pianist here. She's got all of the, the elegant taste. She's got her chess, her books, her record player. She's got her little telescope for looking out at night. And I love this palm tree wallpaper too. Oh my goodness. The houses on this island are awe-inspiring for real. Moving right along here, we do have some more houses in this little neighborhood that we've got. Oh, look at the island flag on the street lamps. I love that. Okay. We've got another little villager here. They have a mini farm. Look at them growing their own produce. And then back here, there's a little lounge space. We've got some cushions, some bamboo seats. Super cute. And let's head to this house behind here. The villager is home, so we can invade their privacy really quick. Check out how their house looks. This one is stunning. This might be my favorite villager yard so far on the island, with the exception of the peach chair one, because the peach chairs are elite elite items. Let's see this villager's house. All right, this is Cherie's house. Again, very bright. I love that we're matching her color. She just has such a happy hue. I don't know. And this is adorable. Love the custom designs on the walls, adding some like accent wallpaper here, just a splash of color. I also love that these chairs are being used at the dining table. I have never used these chairs on one of my islands. So I don't know. It's always neat to see furniture items being used that you haven't had personal experience using. Sheree is also a KK stan. Got some KK records up on the wall. What a nice little home. I think this side might be the rest of the villager homes. We've got another back here. Very cute little setup. They've just got some lounging space outside. And then there's another behind. Hold on, let me figure out how to get there. Okay, I just got to this house from the beach, but it turns out it is also accessible right behind. So I'm just silly goosing. This villager has their own little surfboard and everything. Let's see who they are. I'm not gonna lie. I would come here just for interior inspiration. This is Bam's house. Again, paying attention to his coloring here. We have some blue accents. Everything looks phenomenal. I love that he's got chill wave, KK chill wave on the wall. Love that for you, Bam. He's definitely got a different vibe. You can see his personality. He's got his own little workout spot back here with the neon lighting is so cute. And then he's got his kitchen with his protein shake. Let's go, Bam. Look at you. It's just so cool how you can pick up on the villagers' personalities through their home decor as well. All right. And then moving back here again, we have a little pergola walkthrough, which I love. Let's check out what's behind this neighborhood first. We love an inclined moment. And here we have another of the human residence houses. A very stunning one as well. They've got their own private pool here. I feel like any of these would be the most successful Airbnb in the world. Is there access back here? No, you can just look at the little beach behind. Super cute. Let's go and see this house. Again, just absolutely stunning. This room is so elegant. We've got a little dining area. Not sure if this is going to be someone's full home or another like bed and breakfast kind of vibe, but this is so well done. Again, I just think this island creator is so good at separating parts of the room off in a way that it just boggles my mind. Um, and here we have, it feels sort of like an extra room, a little storage room kind of vibe. They've got their little wardrobes here. They're a little, uh, what are these? What are they? Like closets. There we go. Closets is what I was looking for. We've got a little washer, a mop. This just feels like the extras room, you know, like where you put all the stuff that you're like, well, this doesn't really go anywhere else in the house. Grab your little athletic gear. This is precious. I love it. Oh, and then we've got a little bathroom. I'm, I say little kind of incorrectly. This is a very spacious bathroom. 
complete with gyroids in the bathtub. You can achieve this effect by placing the gyroids on the wall, by the way. So these gyroids are placed as wall items. I think that's so funny. They're chilling. They're having the best time. Very fancy bathroom setup, complete with a scale. Oh my goodness. And then there's another shower in here. I'm going to waste some water because I like the sound. So sorry about island conservation efforts. And then we've got a little bathroom area too, complete with a bidet. Oh, I love this. I love this island. All right, and to the left is the bedroom. This does feel like one cohesive house as opposed to a sort of Airbnb or hotel situation. So we love to see it. This is just someone's big, very well-decorated house. This one is... I love how the closet is its own little area and then the bedroom is behind. It kind of gives you like an extra layer of privacy, like the door is here, but you still can't see the bed. It's kind of nice. Oh, how precious. This is a family home. We've got this sort of joint bedroom up here. There's a hallway, so it really is believable that this is two separate rooms. How neat is that? So we've got one kid's room over here. They have like clearly a yellow and green kind of vibe going on. And then this one with the blue and pink. This is adorable. I love that little moon clock. Hello. This is precious. Also in the hallway is a mirror and some storage. Again, just super believable. I love this. How cutie patootie. Nice and a little kind of den area downstairs. This would be like the main living room since the main room of the house is the kitchen and dining. This is just the entertainment space. We've got a uh, piano. I love this light being used here, by the way. Very nice use. And we've got the TV, some popcorn, a little switch, and then a little workspace too with a view of the ocean. I'm in. This is phenomenal. What a stellar concept for a family home in the French Riviera. Now we can head and see their little private beach down here. I think Salil, Salel was walking around down here earlier, but there's a little sand castle. They do have the secret beach here. It's just a simple little beach spot, but it must be so nice for this family to have their own little private area, you know? And then here is a little diving spot. There is a swimsuit here if you'd like to go jumping off the cliff. And then, ooh, look at this. The little pizza oven. Ah, oh, yum. And I love the tiles it's on as well. Just really nice coloring in this area. All right, leaving that neighborhood, we still need to explore part of the middle of the island. Funnily enough, the way I walked around was kind of interesting. We've got a little, I'm not sure what kind of vibe this is. Maybe a vineyard going on here with little mini trees as bushes because we do have grapes here. So I'm guessing this is a vineyard. Very cute. And we've got these little wine bottles here, local winery. Again, the fake building vibes are just perfect too. And I love the fruit trees around, kind of enhancing the aesthetic. Is there something back here as well? It is accessible through this door. Yes, this is where the campsite is. How neat is that? And they have their own little space in the back where you can sit, enjoy some s'mores, their own little shower. I love this. And this too is accessible if you just walk around here. Again, I am just over and over again, I'm impressed by how accessible everything is that you can see. And then we've got this stunning fake building here. Look at this, the gazebo is so pretty as you walk through. Again, just a natural moment. And then we've got this very elegant and elevated museum design here. Absolutely love the tiles in front, adding some color. And we've got these fake buildings as well. This is so good. There's even a little flamingo sanctuary moment happening. It's like a canal and that's so neat. See the custom designs for water. It's like the water does go up to the bridge, but after that it's just custom designs so that the flamingos and all can be placed. This is so neat. And we have some little shops on the side as well. Seems like a little pottery spot and then a bakery. That is so cool. And the canal does go pretty far down too. So there's another bridge here, another incline up here. Oh, and this is the last resident home on the island, the human homes. 
This one seems to be a restaurant of some sort. La Table is on the wine bottles that we've seen so far, so perhaps this restaurant is the official brand for the wine on the island. This is so neat. Let's go in and explore this house too. So right off the bat for the main room, we have some very cozy seating. I love the vibrance in the room, how bright the floor is and everything. It's just, I don't know, it's enhancing the vibe of the island. We've got La Table on the, again, super cute custom design. This is the same accent wall I think we saw in Cherie's home. The wallpaper is stunning. Back here, we've got a little kitchen. Seems like we have maybe some seafood happening, some nice meat. This is so neat. And then look how yummy this food looks. I have seen so many like jacket potatoes lately and I want one so bad, chat, so bad. Also, I meant to mention them before I left the main room, but the little wine glasses on the wall, just another extremely impressive custom design. This room to the right seems like a more private and elegant dining experience, perhaps something you would reserve for your private party, you know? And how cool is this wall? What a beautiful view. And then we do have the bathrooms here. How cool. We've got a urinal on one side and then on the other, a little private actual toilet area. How neat is this? I love everything about this, the curtain hanging. Oh, it's just so pretty. I also love the lights along the floor to provide some light. That's so neat. And we do have a fan up at the top. I'm loving this room. And look at the way the mirror is used. A tall mirror, so you have a mirror over the sink. I am continually baffled by how good the ideas in here are and the lights hanging. Everything is just so elegant. Oh, and it seems like a little private suite up here. I don't know if this is a situation where it's like the restaurant owner lives up here or if this is like a rentable room. I'm not sure, but either way, it looks phenomenal. We've got like a little breakfast nook here or a little spot for working from home. Very cute little living area. I love the two rattan chairs as opposed to like a sofa. It looks so nice. Again, the separation of the rooms is just blowing me away. Everything is too good. Let's skedaddle. Oh, how cool. We've got like little vineyard vibes down here. This is where the wine is aged, perhaps. We have these little great backpacks, a lot of barrels. How neat, definitely needed. And then like a little wine tasting area, perhaps. This is adorable. I love the different vibes down here, how it's a little darker, a little bit more adult feeling, very nice. I am genuinely super impressed at how each of the houses had a very distinct theme of its own. We had the bed and breakfast, the family home, and now this restaurant vibe, all extremely like impressive, well thought out. You can tell this island was a labor of love because of the sheer amount of thought and detail around every corner. I mean, this is amazing. All of the little walkthrough areas, the fake buildings, all of it is beautiful. Also love this well here as a little pop of color. It just makes sense next to the vineyard as well. And then it's just like little walkthroughs like this that just feels so beautiful and uh, I don't know, it's just enhancing the overall experience of the island to have all of these little areas that are so beautiful. I also somehow miss this little area. This is so funny. It's reminding me of um, Croquette. Is that what it's called? I do not know. Little sports, but this is so cute. Using the pearls as the balls here is so funny. And there's a little spot to sit and enjoy watching. I also love the custom designs behind the fences here. So it seems so bright and colorful and happy. At great personal risk, I'm going to declare that I have toured the entirety of the island. If I miss something and you notice it when you go and visit, please let me know in the comments. I am astounded by the creativity of this island. Lulu has been so good. Thank you so much to the island creator for having us today. And thank you so, so much to my channel members. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you for supporting my channel. Some of you for over two years now, which is insane. If you are not a member and would like to become one, here are the perks. That's all for now, chat. Bye.